All right, welcome back, guys. This is Thwargo. So today we're going to see if we can get some of these floor pans out. I did get a new chair. I got a new ring light. I got a new microphone for you guys. So hopefully the sound is a little bit better. So I got a new uh, rotary tool. And we got, excuse the trash pile. That's where I leave my trash until we take it to the dump. But I uh, got the new air compressor. We got a couple more air tools and stuff over here. But... Um, Got a couple more things over there. So we're gonna see if first we're gonna try and get the screws out of the sills. So they're screwed onto the door sills on the left and right there. And then we're gonna try and rotary tool out this whole inside. I'm gonna take you in a little bit closer here. So it looks like it might have already been a repair in the past. So, cause if you look, Right up on the edge, you can see it's kind of riveted on there. That's not factory. So I think someone had done this years ago and they just used not great floor pans. So we should be able to get this out. The trans tunnel area looks okay on the lip. So we should be able to get that. I did order new floor pans. Those should be in here in the next week or two. So we're gonna try and just get these out. And you can see over here, they did like some kind of stitching stuff on this so we'll see what we can do if we can get these floors out cut out what we can't and get these things ready to get new floors in so i'm gonna see how much i can record and how much i can't might be kind of hard under the car but uh definitely for some of the buzz sawing off and rotary and out we should be able to get some decent hopefully get some decent footage in here i'll try and get the um ring light in the back seat of the car down so you can see what, what I'm doing, but we're going to do my best and see where we go from there. So I'll catch you guys in a few minutes here. All right. So we got Bernard lifted up. We got the jack stands under him and these are what I'm going to be taking off. So all along the body line, there's a whole bunch of these all the way down. To the front. I did open the garage door to get a little bit more light in here. Hopefully you guys can see. But the underside is not too bad anywhere except for the floor pans. So wherever they did the repairs. And you can actually see where they seamed it. And there were definitely some bolt-on, rivet-on, weld-on straps that are just trying to hold this on here. So hopefully... We'll be able to get this stuff off. And then the other thing too, sorry about the view here. <laughs> I'm trying. The um, the little bracket that holds on the side skirt is normally part of the floor pan. And they kind of just strap welded this bad boy on here and did their best. But we're probably going to have to grind some of those welds off and get this off. It's kind of just put on wherever, however on the rail so i'm going to attempt to see if i can break any of these bolts loose and just uh you know see how that goes so we'll see hopefully everything works out i'll bring you back as i make some progress All right, so i was crawling around under there and the only socket set that i have at the house is this little 10 piece craftsman and uh this one is just barely the wrong size so i was using a 9 sixteenths and it's just spinning so we're gonna run to Ace Hardware and get another socket set um, I don't think I mentioned this before but I don't have hardly any tools I've never worked on cars before so we're having fun and learning at the same time but as we go we're just buying stuff so I did get I had two floor jacks for just like lifting and if you're doing like a tire rotation or something like that but not four for setting the car up so I did get um, two more of those and like I had the good jack I had a nice jack so we're okay on that but uh, we got we got four now so as we're going we're learning we're getting new tools we're doing stuff here I did get that new uh, air compressor so that we can do the rotary wheel and stuff so we're gonna hop in old tiny truck I don't know if I showed you guys this truck yet but uh, this is my 92 s10 manual this is a fun truck. I love this truck. It's got the um, winter tires on it. I do have a set of American racing wheels for it. It's a manual. So we'll hop in the tiny truck and go to Ace Hardware 
get another socket set and see if we can keep going. All right, we're on our way back home. We got the uh, goods. I ended up getting uh, some new air hose as well as the socket set that I needed. Uh, I was borrowing my mother, so now I'll have my own set for the new air compressor. So we'll go ahead and just stole, take old tiny truck home. So this thing's pretty cool. It's um, it's a five speed. It's got 160,000 miles on it, but this thing runs great. It's got the 4.3. I've never had any trouble with it. So, um, you know, I didn't really talk about this much in some of the other videos, but one of the things with the Beetle, I've never really worked on cars. I don't really know that much about working on cars, but it, I thought it'd be fun to just learn and have fun with it. If I've got friends that can come over and mess around with it with me, you know, just learn as I go, get tools as I go. I don't really have much in that way. So as we go, I'm just gonna keep picking up little bits here and there and enjoying myself and just learning the process, YouTube videos and figuring out what I can learn. So um, that's kind of one of the things, you know, I have the Tesla I drive every day. <laughs> kind of hard to drive a manual and record, huh? Um, the Tesla I drive every day, but it's it's really fast, but it doesn't really have that much heart in it, you know? It's just silent and quick. But, you know, I've driven a lot of fast cars. I had I had the Viper, I had a lot of chargers. I probably had, I had three chargers. I had the SRT and the Scat Pack and a RT back in the day. I had a SRT Durango, you know? The, the Tesla's faster than all those. And, um, you know, it, it really does throw you back. It's cool, but there's something to be said about just hearing it, shifting, enjoying the drive, you know? It's not always just trying to be the fastest. So I thought the bug would be fun. You know, my dad had one when we were kids. He had a blue one and he had a yellow one. And I just remember him working on them out in the, you know, in the driveway and stuff and messing with them and tinkering with them and fiddling around. And I thought it'd be fun to just try and, you know, do some of that myself and uh, see what see what I could do, see if I can figure it out, see if I can have fun with it and get the thing running. So Ace fortunately is one second away from the house. So we're, <laughs> this is our turn here, we're coming up. So I'll see if we can get some of these bolts off and bring you back. All right, welcome back. I uh, just came from underneath the car. We're full shielded up, got the gloves on. I got all of the bolts out or screws. I don't really know if they're bolts or screws. I don't know what you call them because they're kind of both, right? They're um, a bolt end with a screw tip. But I'm wearing a uh, full face shield because I learned my lesson. So amateur blew my eye out with a socket wrench. <laughs> I literally, I was under there cranking and when, it, when I was pulling the bolt off, screw off, whatever, the socket came off and the wrench just came and bashed me right in my eyebrow. So this was two days ago. I took a break and I just came back into it today. It's not too bad, but I decided I'm going to go ahead and wear this. But this thing's pretty cool. Um, I got this at Harbor Freight. It's a separate mask with a mouth shield, but this actually kept the, the fog. You can see how foggy it is below the glasses. It's got like a layer that keeps the fog out of your eyeballs. And then... Um, the dust and or the rust coming off the bottom didn't get hit in my mouth or like in my eyes or anything so i would highly recommend this i originally got it so that when i'm doing the cutoff wheel that uh the sparks wouldn't get in my face into my mouth and hit my cheeks and stuff but just even for just being under there and doing that that worked out great so i did a combination of a socket as well as the um <laughs> impact hammer so this worked phenomenally because it does it does the hammering to kind of loosen it it doesn't just strip it straight off so with the hammer effect it just kind of slowly backed them out and that actually worked really well only one of them did i have to hand loosen first because this the rust on it this wouldn't i couldn't get it seated in there and so the the it wouldn't seat at all to even start hammering but by doing it by hand and just slowly working it a little bit, I was able to get the socket in there and get a couple turns off, and then this one went in perfect. So <clears throat> all things all things considered, as rough as the rust was in here, it worked out great. So we're going to go ahead and try to get the other side going, get those off, and then it's going to be cutoff wheel time. So we'll see how that goes, and right, get a well. good pants came in. 
looking pretty good. Everything's welded on. We got the seat mounts welded in already, and the running board mounts are attached already. I didn't have to do anything. Driver's side and passenger side look pretty good. The thickness is pretty good. Doesn't seem very cheap. It seems fine. And it did come with the gaskets for the body, as well as new hardware to attach it to the car. Should be good. Excited to get these put in. That'll be nice. Seat rails look good. Nothing's too banged up or bent up from shipping. Looks pretty good. So all I'm doing is going through and just breaking these loose. Just a little bit. You can see once you get a little bit of turn with it. And it's really rusty, so I have a hard time getting my wrench off. Once I do that, then I can take the big boy. And that's it. So I'm going to do that with each of these. Get them off. And then we'll do one more here. We'll keep going. All right, well, hopefully uh, you guys can see this okay. So we've got the <laughs> little wire wheel here, and then I've got the cutoff tool on a different um, saw here. So hopefully, I'm going to try, I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but there are just rivets all over from whoever did this patch job. So I'm gonna try and wire wheel those clean and then just try to cut a little perimeter around this bad boy and see if I can get some of this off. Um, I got all the bolts off, but the rivets and stuff that these people, whoever did it before this uh, little job here, I don't know how much you can see over to the side here, but all these are being held on by just little rivets and extra pieces of metal that are just popped onto here, so. We'll get our good mask on here and get to cranking and see what we can come up with. This is not meant to be a tutorial. I have no idea what I'm doing, but we're just going to go for it and see what happens. So I'm going to hold the brake line out of the way. And... <laughs> working good. We're getting that off. Got a couple of them out already.
So we're over at the workbench. So I've been trying to use this um, die grinder. This was my dad's before he passed away. And then uh, I got it from his stockpile. But I don't know if you noticed or not, but every once in a while, the die grinder would just blow air out the back end. And so what I'm going to do here is take off all the old sealant tape. And then I've got some new tape here. And we're going to crank this bad boy up with some new sealant so, funny story with this stuff actually um, I got this in a kit that was sent to me by my electric company for a shower head so they, they they offered like a free deal hey we'll send you a shower head because um, it'll help with the electricity and I was like sure I'll take a free shower head well they sent two and I'd already got a neat one for my daughter's bathroom so I didn't need to, but it came with a whole roll of this, so I didn't even have to buy it. It's kind of funny. So we're going to switch this out and see if that helps with our problem of completely exploding air out the bottom instead of actually working. All right, new tape on there. Whoops, down here. <laughs> I lost sight of you. Sorry if you couldn't see any of that. Uh, there we go, new tape. Let's go see if it, uh, let's go see if it worked. Here, I'll grab the hose and do it over there. Be right back. Although, with the new mics, you guys can hear me, even if I'm way over here. Not anywhere near the camera. So, we'll come back over here. See if we have any blowback on that. None. It's not coming out the bottom anymore. All right, let's see how that works. Well, I think we're going to end it there. We're going to end this episode. I'm going to keep working at this. They did actually not only rivet it, but they did weld it in quite a few places. So a lot of those rivets I was able to get off. Hopefully you guys can see that, but it's still just booger welded everywhere in here. Um, and then on this side, like I said, I'll show you closer. They did a bunch of just scrap pieces of metal, both riveted and welded on, on like the heater channels and all over the place so I gotta get the pedal set out of the way so I can get up that way um, but I'll go ahead and put this video out 
we're making some progress. Floors are getting gone. I do have the new floors. I'm excited about that. So we'll end it here. Again, I'm doing this for fun. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying. Let me know. Give me some feedback if there's something I need to change or do differently or show better. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just having fun here. So, uh, you know, follow along. Keep me posted. Hope you guys are enjoying the content. Until the next one, I will catch you later.